No, you. Anyways, I'm not feeling the greatest today. Um, I swear to God, I got heat stroke just from a walk outside. That's why I don't live below the equator line. Um, decided to step out and the, uh, the sun decided to victimize me today, you know? <laughs> Pencils on, on deck. And we're gonna react to my drawing that I did today. And what is, what is this week, you may ask? Today is, uh, is Dylan Ponders. Um, you may not know who he is. He's, he's a, he's a can Canadian rapper as well. Um, but the first time, crazy story, not even that crazy, to be honest. Um, I went to a Puya, Puya concert at Vogue around probably like 2018, it must have been. And uh, Vogue's a pretty small theater, but um, we got there probably an hour before Puya got on. And uh, I didn't read the ticket at all, like who was starting for Puya and, you know, who was featured. We go with a group of like five of us and we're, you know, in the back area of, of the theater and uh, there's a crowd, of course, and we're just talking amongst each other. And then uh, someone came up on stage. Um, we weren't even paying attention. I don't know why we weren't. It's a concert, you know. A guy came up, uh, started singing and everything. And then uh, out of the corner of my ear, right here, I heard uh, a song that I knew. And I thought I knew. It was playing for a little second before, you know, I kind of caught on, but it's, uh, it was, it was Planet Ponders by, uh, by Dylan Ponders. And it was like, you know, it's a super like, you know, fucking, <laughs> it's a very, you know, bumping rap song. Um, so, you know, I turned around and of course, you know, there's Dylan Ponders just there. And I was like, holy shit you know i know this guy um and all my friends didn't know them you know everybody there didn't really know them but i was like i was singing along you know when you when you when you like know an artist but like everybody else doesn't know an artist so you're like yeah fuck i know this guy i know and you're like trying you're like singing along and everybody's like looking at you because they don't really know who it is and i'm like what are you guys was were born yesterday and stuff but <laughs> They obviously weren't because they were, you know, a lot of them probably were pretty drunk. Even Puya, like, I enjoyed Dylan Ponder's bit a little bit more than just because I like, I like his music better than, than, uh, than Puya's. But, you know, pretty cool because after that, you know, I hit him up on Instagram because I, you know, I obviously needed to. And I was like, oh my God, I just saw you. I didn't even notice it was you until, you know, Planet Ponder's came out came on um and he replied which is pretty fucking dope you know um this is one of my favorite ones actually i like this one a lot um if anybody wants to buy these hit me up hit me up i'll give you a discount <laughs> so before i get into it make sure you know you drop a like or just tell me if it's bad tell me if it's good because literally i'm the only one watching these right now so <laughs> and I'm pretty biased. So what do we start off with always? We always start with the outline. So right now, doing the jeans, and I have done jeans before. Um, jeans, for some reason, when I draw jeans, because I like them so much, that they always turn out nice. They always turn out like the most realistic thing out of the whole portrait is the jeans. Also this time the chair, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool chair. It's like plastic, I think. I think probably plastic chairs or something. <laughs> like I drew my mom probably three weeks ago or something like that. And whoever I, you know, I showed it to everyone because I like compliments. <laughs> I didn't show it to many people, but the people I did show it to, um, they always said they liked the jeans. So that tells you anything. Turned out nice. Turned out good. At this point when a drawing is like starting off at like a good point, 
I'm confident throughout the whole drawing, kind of. Unless there's plaid, because plaid is, plaid's painful. Hashtag plaid is painful. And he had like a kind of, he had like a, a button up shirt um, with a bunch of um, circles and uh, it was like a circle and, and square print. But I don't mind it. I don't mind it too, that, as much. And you'll see, he has a bunch of dreads, just, just freaking Goldilocks out here. His name's Dylan Locks. Oh, you, you're wondering what they call me? They call me the Lockman. The Lockman, no, the Lockman monster. That's what they call me. <laughs> oh. I like Dylan, so nothing is, uh, is, uh, I'm not trying to be offensive at all, because I like, I love you. Um, doing the watch, he had a nice watch. It's not as white, like the watch, it's not as like blinging as it was in the photo because uh, I don't know, I don't know why. I guess I could have. It's hard to get like small details highlighted like white because my erasers aren't that big. I do not have a big eraser. I, <laughs> I have average size of erasers. Average erasers. Here comes the locks. It was a cool photo. Like I scrolled through his Instagram, and uh, this is the one that I kind of chose because uh, it was all like, was all like who, who am I? <laughs> He's all. Dressed up all fancy, look like a photo shoot. I need a haircut, guys. I need a haircut. That's what I freaking need in my life. Quarantine. I don't think I've had a haircut. Well, not you know. Obviously, my hair doesn't doesn't look like Dylan Ponder's, but you know, my hair is definitely long. Definitely long. Anyways, it's not about me. It's not about me. It's about my drawing. Yeah, doing the rest of his shirt. Um, no, wait, doing the dreads right now. And if you don't, you know, if you don't know him and you like kind of, uh, if you like even just hip hop in general, rap in general, um, you know, he's a Canadian artist. We are Canadian, proud. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll put his name right now. Dylan Ponders. And now I'm, I'm lying in, I'm putting lines in to kind of measure out where I'm going to put the uh, the boxes and squares. And now I'm doing the squares. It's the first time for a lot of things. You'll see in a sec there's a wood background and I've never, I've never done like a wood paneled um, style background and I've never done dreads um, for hair. Shading it in um, because at the top there's a light so obviously his face is, uh, is pretty bright. And his hand right there is, is bright as well because the light's hitting it. Doing that, doing that. Almost done. So Dylan's pretty much done. Again, it's just hopping on that lamp. Hopping on the lamp. And then doing doing the background, which is which is like a wood background, which is nice. No, I think I'm getting, I'm adapting to different drawings because at first, you know, I would draw once in a while and everything that I drew was for, uh, new to me. So now that I'm drawing, you know, a portrait every week or so, um, everything starts, you know, the way that I'm doing the wood. Um, at first on the, you know, on the left side, it wasn't as good. And then, you know, I started to, I started to kind of adapt and figure out how I should do it. Learning. Put your 10,000 hours in. So at first I was doing, you know, the wood paneling just straight. And then I, and I was like, well, like wood has, have kind of, it's, they're never a straight line. They're always kind of jagged, like the, the gradient of it. If you know what I'm talking about. And that's almost gonna finish it up. I just hit the dreads with white um, because obviously shading in the wood um, covered the dreads that were previously there. And then, 
Yeah, just touch ups, whites, 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 hit it with whites. And the final product in three, two, one. <laughs>